guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I have another makeup routine for you, but this one is fall inspired. Plus, it's a collab with my good friend here on YouTube, Emily Mabry. Now, we're both gonna be doing fall inspired looks, but I'm taking over daytime and she'll be taking over nighttime. And they're both gonna be centered around the Anastasia Beverly Hills World Traveler palette. So naturally, I'll have all of her information down below as well as at the end of the video. If you're not subscribed to her already, you need to do so because she has absolutely amazing content and she's incredibly, incredibly sweet. I know you're not gonna regret it, she is amazing. And if you want to see how I achieved this look, keep on watching. All right, so for the sake of time and to not be too repetitive, I've excluded from this video my full foundation routine, but I did use the Hourglass Immaculate Liquid to Powder Foundation, of course, and now I'm just doing some very simple highlighting with my NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in Vanilla. And to set everything in place, I'm going to be using my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in Transparent. For my contour, I decided to go with one of my all-time favorites, the NARS Laguna Bronzer. And just to make sure that there aren't any harsh lines, I'm blending everything out with a clean brush. Next, for blush, I'm using another favorite, NARS's Deep Throat. And now, as per usual, for my brows, I'll be using the Anastasia Brow Powder Duo in Dark Brown with the number 12 brush. Finally, moving on to the eyes, first I'm going to be picking up the shade Soft Peach and applying that into the crease as a transition shade. And as a base, it just makes the other colors a little bit easier to blend. Now, on the same brush, I'm going to be picking up the shade Morocco and applying that into the crease just to add a bit of dimension. Next, with a slightly damp brush, I'm picking up the shade Intense Gaze and patting that all over the lid. And to darken the look, I'll be adding the shade Fudge to the outer third of the eye and of course blending that all out. Next, to create some balance, I'm taking Intense Gaze again and running that through the bottom lash line, followed by Fudge a little bit closer to the lash line, just to make sure that the look stays nice and warm. And with my Bobbi Brown Gel Eyeliner, I'm going to stay very close to the lash line and create a very small flick. Quickly going back into the palette, I'm picking up pink champagne and popping that in the inner corners just to add a bit of brightness. And of course, for mascara, I'm using Maybelline's The Rocket and tight lining with NARS's Larger Than Life Eyeliner in Via Veneto. Now to add a bit of radiance to my face, I'll be using the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Champagne Pop. Finally, to wrap up the look, I'll first be outlining my lips with the MAC Spice Lip Liner and then filling them in with the Urban Decay Matte Revolution Lipstick in 1993 on a MAC 316 brush. And that completes the look. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out Emily's video and her channel. I'll have them linked down below as well as at the end of this video. And like always, all of my links will be down below so that we can stay connected. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel so that you're notified every time I put out a new video. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for stopping by and until next time. Bye.